Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome into Shannon's space. I am Shannon. This is Sag Life Tarot. I am a Sagittarius, but I love to read for everybody. And I got just a couple cards set up here so I can bring you an introduction video. My first time for Aries. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is our first time together. I just want to say before I get started that I'm a Sagittarius and I'm a bit extra. What do I mean by that? I mean, I'm extra, extra. I do the most. I love to do everything. I love to be happy, joyful, very high spirited. And I know because I have an Aries as well as a child, those seven up there, those are my seven lives. I'm Seven Lives Enterprise, LLC. Uh, those are my seven lives. The most amazing things I've ever done in my life, right? And so, the rightest thing I've ever done because they make my life right, okay? So, I got grandbabies. I To just give you a background story, my first set of cards came to me around the age of 23. 23, 24, around those two numbers. And I am 47 now. Aha. Uh -huh. And I'm about to be 48. So. Okay. And I have an addiction. Cards. Love to read. Love to. Absolutely. And I absolutely love people, life, everything that we stand for. The unity, the community coming together, everything that will make us grow, learn, evolve, help each other, and bring each other a better life. Now, Aries, a little bit more about me. Um, I am into astrology, numerology, horoscope, love to think of on life paths. Uh, my information is in a description box below. I do uh, individual reads. Hit me up. I got a lot going on. You never know where we might fit in, uh, Aries. If you're here with me, then I absolutely know you have a big heart. You are full of love, and I and I am too. Okay, so let's get into this read. But before I start, Aries, I need you to know I believe in God. I believe in all of these things, and I believe in praying. And if you didn't pray today, I'm going to pray with you, and please pray with me. And this will happen continually because I plan on reading for you once a week now. Yes, I do. I do. For now, Aries, yes. I know I'm so excited. I can feel you're a good energy. I can feel it. I know you're a little skeptical. I can feel it, but it's okay. I love it. Ah, divine source, divine creator, divine energy, divine God, Holy Spirit, holy angels. Thank you, guardians. Thank you, guardian angels. We come and humble ourselves in gratitude. Thank you. Amen. That's one of my quick prayers right there. But uh, I like. I want to let you know I love to pray. So I'm definitely going to always have a prayer. I'm ready to get in. You ready? I had to pop my neck a little bit. I should have got my earpiece. I forgot to get my earpiece. Okay, I do too much and too little at the same time. Sometimes, Aerie, but hold fast. Your first card out, four of pentacles. You are holding on to something. What are you holding on to? What is this you're holding on to? King of Wands. Mm. This is uh, Sagittarius energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Wands. Pentacles. This is Earth here. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't really get into the signs of things because you are going to be bombarded with all signs energy here but i i will definitely let you know what i'm seeing so with this four of pentacles and a four uh, and a king of wands four of pentacles is suggesting holding on to something not letting it go uh with pentacles it can be health but it also means your wealth so somebody is holding on to they prosperity or or believing that the prosperity is impossible okay believing that the pro the prosperous energy that you do possess because you possess the energy to be prosperous here but it's something that you have a lack of control of over something something that is stopping you 
from moving forward. But with this King of Wands energy, come on. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. Wands, this is fire. Okay, and this is the king of the fire. So this is suggesting that you are ready, prepared in the leadership position. Um, definitely ready to start a new adventure. And you you got the idea. You have everything ready, uh, created the idea, put your plans in action. Oh, Aries, hold please. Wow. Again, you got the king of wands energy. And the hanged man. So this meant it, this energy means now that you are sacrificing everything that you feel. You are sacrificing everything you feel to get this opportunity to move forward with whatever this opportunity is. And it's a real big one. And it seems like it's going help you grow though spiritually it's gonna help you get more in tune with your spiritual gifts help you realize your own subconscious stand backs with this four of pentacles subconsciously somebody is feeling like they cannot be wealthy or you are not going to be wealthy or you're holding on to the little wealth you have and not trying to uh you know grow it any it's not progressing enough right now because you get so much of it holding you back that you're holding on to. Maybe even something from your past that you're holding on to that's causing you not to see what's right before you here. But but with this change of whatever you're going through, ooh, whatever you're going through, this has changed. I mean, if you have been, if you have been sitting back paying attention to your life and trying to analyze where you're going with your life, trying to analyze what you're doing with your life. If this is what you've been doing, you have gotten down to the deeper spirituality of yourself and learned that it is you, it is you, it is you. And trusting in you and believing in your way, believing in what you believe for your life, not what somebody else has, not even... Uh, somebody from your past can dictate where you're going. Because I feel like somebody is with this four of pentacles, somebody been telling you things for your life. Like maybe, maybe you grew up believing something about your life as far as prosperity goes, which made you kind of hold on to the things that you have tighter than you normally would. And But with that, it's also taught you to learn to hold on to things in certain situations. Like, you know you need to put something away for a rainy day. You know something can happen out of nowhere. So now you have to have what's necessary. And I keep going back to Pentacles because the Four of Pentacles came out first. And this is suggesting in your finances or in your health somebody else for help this is a general read don't take this personal i just love to read the cards whatever they say right and this is a general read so it can be several different energies going it can be several different stories going going on this could be something you're witnessing in someone else's life they don't necessarily have to be yours now let's dig in though because it's real deep right now because not not only did the hanged man just pop out on the side of the king of wands which is saying that in your own energy, Aries, in your own energy, you've learned the good understanding of passionate, of giving, of whom to give to. The understanding of who you should be sharing your energy and your resources with. You put yourself in the energy of the hanged man. So you walked away several times to get in your own energy and figure it out for yourself. What's your perspective? What's your feeling? What's your understanding? But then the ace of cups popped out like, well, here it is. You are about to get an overpour. This is a gift, an overpour of prosperity, 
abundance, new relationships, new opportunity, new fortune. We could carry on with the new. We can carry on with the new. It's new love, new joy, new health, new spirituality, everything coming here. And this is a gift just being handed to you here because obviously you put yourself in a situation where you knew you had to figure out for your own life. Where am I going? What am I doing? Where, where, where is my prosperity? Where is my wealth? Where is my goodness? Where is my good uh, abundance? And I know it's for my life. And I know this is where my life is supposed to be. But see, your intuition so strong now because you in the hanged man situation. Mm. Six of Wands came out in reverse. Temporary success. Okay, it's some untapped potential you got going on. So something about your, oh, I don't understand why the six of wands came out in reverse then. Oh, it hit me before it touched the table. Aries, let me talk to you. We got a six card spread going, Aries, and I'm taking the last one and that's justice. And I'm going to tell you, ooh, King of Swords was at the bottom of that one. Child almost took that and the Queen of Let's get out of the deck because I'm, I'm the type of person I keep going and keep going. Listen, this Libra energy right here. Now, the Hanged Man, that is Pisces energy. Wait, 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 hold fast because I feel like I know what it is. But sometimes, uh, what, exactly, that's water energy. Exactly, that's uh, strongly Pisces. But... This is, uh, let me let, so these energies can be significant around you. They can be significant around you with this justice energy. This is labor energy now. And this, the justice card says that justice shall be restored. And it, that with the justice here absolutely means something was off. Something was wrong. Somebody was wronged. Something wasn't in balance. You wasn't in harmony with what you were going through. Whoever you around or whatever you going through, you're not in good balance with them. That's exactly why this card will pop out. Now, when I said this six of wands, why would the six of wands come in reverse? And I want you to know, because I probably didn't make mention, but the ace of pentacles fell out. Listen, the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles. You got new everything going on here. New perspective, new life, new love, new finances, new resources, new location, new... Uh, everything is going to happen newly for, here for you. But the Six of Wands now, the Six of Wands upright is victory and success. But it came like this here in reverse. But it hit me first before it hit the table. So I'm like, why? Why, why would it come out like that when you got two... Uh, gifts given to you when you get two blessings, two uh, prayers answered, two of your impossibles are now possible. Okay, how could it come out in reverse? But then it came to me. Okay, this is why you want to listen to old wise people because they got the story for you, baby. Let me tell you what happened. So again, this came in reverse. This is the Six of Wands. This would say on the side of the Ace of Pentacles and in between the Ace of Cups would mean you are successful. Things are rising to the top. You will not stop. You are on a path where everybody is watching you. Everybody sees you. Everybody knows you're successful. You are being recognized. You are being sent at the top stage, center stage up here. But it came out in reverse. Well, now, let's, what's the reverse of everything I just said? Upright, it says, congratulations, you win, bing, bing, bing. And it would make sense between the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, but it came out in reverse. And I'm going to tell you why. Let the old wise soul tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because temporary situations happen in this in the reverse. Uh-huh, six of wands in the reverse, and wands is uh, Aries energy yes this is fire here and it's in reverse and that means that you are not being recognized you are being watched they are always watching you justice energy it's a libra they always i'm not just suggesting that the libra is watching you it's a lot of energy that's watching you because it's a lot of people on this card 
that is a ground in the background. So people watching you, they watching you. You got a lot of people who watching you. You might got somebody on online who paying attention to you as well. But let me explain. Mm -hmm. It suggests that the people that's watching you, all they have for you is bad news. They delay you from your plans. They keep you from trying to get to where you're trying to go. See, these people celebrating you. These people are against you. Uh-huh. They want to make sure you don't get to where you're trying to go. And I'm going to tell you, you've been here in this hanged man position. Oh, you might have people around you. It suggests it's a whole lot of people around you. Yeah, it's a lot of energies around you. And these energies might want to keep you from going where you want to go. So you had to think about this and come to your own understanding, your own perspective, a new perspective. Okay, so this six of wands in reverse are all the energies that's trying to stop you from getting to this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups. But I want you to know that Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles came out after you got rid of this energy, after you overcame this energy. This energy say you overpouring love. So Ace of Cups was suggesting that you just overpour your love. You just overpour your love. You just a overgiver. You just good at loving on people. You good at making people feel good. You will put people to the side. You will put yourself to the side for other people. You will put yourself to the side for other people. And you done it for a long time. This is what you do. You are overpour of love, Aries. A overpour of emotions. A overpour. You just constantly showing everybody else, everybody else. And here they are, everybody else, everybody else who don't got nothing, who don't got nothing to give you. And don't don't take it wrong, Aries. Now, some of these people, some people love you. Okay, you got some people on your team, obviously, because you got Ace of Cups. Okay, and, and and I want you to know, I don't see nobody here but you. I don't see nobody here but you, right? But with these people on this Six of Cups, obviously you got people because you got a lot of love to give. You overpour your love and emotions onto people. You give some things. Uh, I want you to know that sometimes because you're in this hanged man situation, it, it, this is what, what the spirit just tapped into me. Because you're in this hanged man energy, sometimes your overpouring of love, you stop, you overpour from your own emotions. So you might think you helping somebody, but you actually not because you really not giving them what they need. You're giving them what you feel like they need. Okay. Because you love to overpour your emotions into people. Okay. So you're an overgiver. You will give your money, you will give your car, you will give your clothes on your back, you will give and give and give. But you're not helping because you're give obviously, because this is in reverse. The same people that you're giving to, the same people that's in your energy, instead of acknowledging you, they uh, feel like you sometimes uh, are annoying. That's what I want to say. That's where the word came from, Aries. It could be anybody in your energy. Let's not take this up in the wrong way, right? Like they, like you keep getting, you keep having problems with this same energy. Like you keep giving to this same energy, but this same energy keep resisting you, giving you bad energy after you done gave. But as soon as you walked away from that bad energy, fresh new start. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, fresh new start. You're being handed a fresh new start. Not that you don't have to go out and work for it, because of course you got to go out and make your way. But it's handed to you like divine energy, universe, whatever you want to set yourself in the, in the hands of is giving you the energy, the even the funds even. Because remember, you started off with the Four of Pentacles holding on to something that you holding on to a security that's not really there it's a lack of security there but here with the ace of pentacles you got security with just justice card everything is balanced out in your favor balanced out in your favor let's we got the original tarot deck here let's let's clarify <clears throat> somebody from your past 
Child, we ain't even got to go far. The card's going to tell you immediately. When I say child, know that I'm telling you to get in your inner child because sometimes you got to heal some things inside your inner child in order for your grown child that's inside you to come out and, and reflect that you've learned this lesson and you don't want to repeat it again. Four of Pentacles, something from your past. This is what I said. Look at him. The energy of the people that's in your past, the people that's giving you bad energy, you keep giving and for a minute they happy, but it's only for a second. The next thing you know, it's another energy. What you mad for this time? That's what the problem is. This is the Six of Cups here. This is from your past. This is past energy. This is nostalgia. This is don't get carried away in your past. Don't get trapped in past energies because past energy sometimes uh, only leads you to this temporary success. You give them for a minute and they happy for a second and then they not happy no more. They not happy with it no more. You got to give some more. Child, now when I say get in your inner uh child, I keep telling you, when you get in that inner child and heal some things, you got ace of pentacles again. You, let's just say it, Aries. I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. I am rich. Go on and say it. Go on and believe it now. Because clarifying the king of wands, this is your energy, Aries. This is your energy here. Yes, it's predominantly uh Sagittarius energy. But you are a king. You are wands. You are fire. This is passion. This is you being steady, strong, and being focused on what it is you about to get. Come on, you get two hands out here handing you some money. <laughs> you get go, you get two hands out here handing you some money. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. What did I say? What did I say to you, Aries? Didn't I say that same energy that keep that you keep overpouring your love to overpouring? You keep putting yourself aside so you could overpour your energy, and they not receiving it. They not receiving it. They it's a temp every time you just oh gosh now I got to figure out some other way to make you happy. That's the problem. You trying to make other people happy when their happiness is on them. That's on them. You can't worry about how other people are happy. You got to worry about your own happiness and you keep putting yourself aside so you can overpour your love into some people who won't receive it. Oh, child. And then the five of swords came out. Well, if that don't tell you the truth right there, five of swords is fighting. That's battle. That's overcoming the battle. That's, that's people walking away from a battle because they done tried to hurt you, wound you, and he right here with three of the swords. No, you can't take what belongs to me, but it's conflict. It's always some competition going on. It's always some confusion because you done set yourself aside quite a few times for this energy right here. Quite a few times. Come on, clarify this, Ace of Cups. Oh, the tower moment. The tower moment. Why would the tower of all things pop out? Let me tell you something. This tower moment on top of the Ace of Cups, honey. Okay, period. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The whole, you, you've been overpouring. You have set yourself on the sidelines. You might have been whole time self-absorbing yourself. You might have been paying attention to what's going on in other people now. You might be recognizing that them same people you've been putting your energy to don't have the same energy to receive you. They don't have no energy to give back. It's always some anger, frustration. You ain't never doing it right. You don't never do this for me. You don't never do that. It could be family members feeling like you're not doing enough. You don't have enough. You don't give enough. You're not feeling enough. Even though you're overpouring your love, that's because they can't receive that love. Okay, this tower moment, this, that right there says, the Holy Spirit, Holy Angel said, no more, no more, no more. Sometimes they got to intervene. Sometimes they got to stop this overpour. They look at the tower falling apart. You are a hand with love overpouring. And the tower came in to say, no more. 
They can't be in your tower no more. They can't be in your presence no more. They can't be in your bubble no more. They can't be in your circle no more. Tower moment. When they take themselves out of the equation, because they going to do it for you. You ain't even got to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about breaking up with them. They going to break up with you. <laughs> Listen, when this tower moment happened, remind yourself. I don't care if you got to put it on a sticky note. I don't care if you got to put it on the billboard. Remind yourself, you go back, all you're going to be doing is giving in to temporary bad news. Temporary success. Tip, a delayed energy. Delays in your own plans. People trying to stop you from doing what you want to do. People trying to make sure you don't get nowhere in life. Clarify this five, six of wands. Ugh. Aries. I'm dumbfounded. I'm astonished. I'm in disbelief. I'm... An unbelievable energy. Wow, Aries. The tower moment opens your heart back up. You just still overpour. But now maybe you learn to overpour to the right situations. This six of wands in reverse is ace is clarified that an ace of cups. It's letting you know that you overport to bad situations. It wasn't you. It's not you. It's not your love. It's nothing wrong with you having strong love. This is the greatest gift ever. Strong love. The tower moment in between that because that's Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Oh my gosh, how you get two Ace of Cups and two Ace of Pentacles. Aries, you are amazing. It's nothing wrong with you. This is a blessed gift to overpour love. This is a welcoming. Some people wish they had people to overpour love onto them. And you just give in to the wrong energies. It's going to always be the wrong energy if you putting it in the wrong place. Uh, your love is supposed to be given and not, you're not supposed to expect People to give back what you give because you could never receive from anybody the type of love that you give. Somebody can match you and give as much as you, but nobody can ever overpour like you because you are individually you. You are meant to pour. That is exactly why you have two of them out here. That's why the tower moment happened. Because Holy Spirit, Holy Angels refuse to let you stop over pouring your love. Yes. And they had to step in before you feel like, I'm not giving nobody my love no more. Yes, they did. They stepped in because they know your love is pure. So purely keep giving your love. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, the Ten of Swords, honey. That's the end of that. That's the end of it. You finally learned for yourself. You've learned for yourself here. You've learned for yourself. Let's see what's going to come out. Let's just see. Clarify this Justice card, King of Cups. King of Cups. That is suggesting that you learned how to give your love properly. On the justice card, you learned how to give your love. Not you was giving it improperly. You learned who to give it to. That's what the key to this whole thing is. You give it to the wrong people, the wrong substances, the wrong energy. Like if you was giving to, uh, you was doing a newspaper route, but you really wanted to print the newspaper you was giving your energy to the newspaper route when you should have been giving your energy to the paper, to the uh, newspaper, writing the newspaper. I don't know where the newspaper came from or why the newspaper came up. Pisces energy real strong here. Let me tell you something. You got a couple major arcanas on board. This tower, this hanged man energy. This is major arcana. This justice, major arcana suggesting this is a major life cycle change for you. This has taught you about 
your heart and learning whom to give your love to. Let me get some romance. Okay, I'm going to put some love on the board. Love is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. That clearly suggests that you was given to people in love uh, situations that did not have you at their best interest. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Come on, Aries. I see you level up. Level up. Playfulness. Yes, Aries, I'm playful. I love it too. I love it. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. Just remember them energies you already gave to. They already couldn't contain you, so they won't ever be able to contain you. If you have family issues, baby, it's time to heal those issues with your family. Forgive them. Tell them you forgive them. Or don't even tell them. Just forgive. You don't got to tell everybody when you forgive. Just heal your family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents your love life not gonna never benefit with the, with old people ah uh, sometimes relationships gotta break up and years down the line get back together and they actually work out but then you gotta still remember it had to be some space for the people to grow so we're saying that you've been giving your love to the wrong energy, to the wrong people who would not receive you. They have holes in their jar. You can't keep giving to people who don't have enough to hold you. Come on. It's safe for you to love, though. It is safe for you to love. You just got to remember which love you giving. It's a whole lot of loves out here. This is why people don't understand love. Love is something you can't put your finger on. You know not how to explain love. You don't know. You don't know how some people feel. You don't know. Ten of Swords, this is saying a lot of people took advantage of your love. A lot of people. Justice. And when you see justice, that means something was unfair. It was unbalanced. And the tower moment came so it can put it into balance for you. But if they put it into balance and you do it again, Ten of Swords again, my friend. <laughs> You gonna end up in ten of swords energy again, my friend. <laughs> that 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 that's something my son will say, my friend. <laughs> Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Stop trying to be in control of everything. Bottom of the deck, you about to be your soulmate. How did this come out on top of justice, the King of Cups, and soulmate? Yes. This is your soulmate. You will meet your soulmate, but you got to let go of the energy. Then what did it just say? Let go of the old energies that did not have nothing for you. You got to remember that. You got to remember that. Let's get a dream card out here. What's your dream say, Aries? Because I do know that your dreams be very vivid. Mm -hmm. You got them vivid dreams and some of them be coming true. Come on now. What's your daydreams? You hear me? When you go off into a daydream, that's when you need to know that you you about to uh, make something happen. When you start imagining stuff, Aries, you real powerful. You real powerful. If you sit in a state of imaginary uh, action and just be silent with your imagination and build it real strong, Aries be making stuff happen. Yes. You the emperor. <laughs> Dare to dream a little bigger. Dare to ask for a little more. Not because everything should be bigger, but for you to see where your limits are. Ooh, don't limit yourself. You unlimit, you limitless. Aries, you limitless. If you could create anything you wanted, what would it be? Journal or sketch your creations on paper. Start to believe you have limitless possibilities to create in this world. Aries, what do we just say? You hear me? I love when synchronicity happens. You got to know when synchronicity happens. And a message come in multiples that is definitely leading you towards your higher, wherever you trying to go. Whatever you trying to do, you know, because you could be trying to do anything. Okay, Aries, I want to throw some money out here on board for you. I'm going to put some money out here. I didn't mean to do such a long uh, message. Oh, let me try and hurry up. I was not trying to do it long, Aries, but that was real deep right there. And it's our first time meeting, so, you know, I do long messages, but I'm going to try and do a short one here. Okay, let's get some money out here. Mm. Your voice, somebody's voice, 
you about to be in media, somebody's voice needs to be heard, listen, I'm going to take that for you. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. I love that card. That is one of my favorite cards in the deck. Somebody's voice is going to change somebody's life. Prudence. Put some money away. Check your balance on your card. Don't spend too much. Don't do too much. You, you good for saving up money. You keep saving like you do. Partnership. You about to get a partnership that's going to work in your favor. Somebody is going to get some new people up. Oh. Look, designer, somebody is a clothes designer, an engineer designer, a, a, a internet designer. Uh, take action. It says yes, whatever your question is telling you to go for it. The next step, do it. Somebody work hard. Somebody is a laborer. A new job of some kind is coming your way or coming back to you a career in construction ask for help if you need it if you got little financial problems go on and ask for some help oh but luck is on your side look at that i love that card it's a beautiful card it's that green leaf yes luck is on your side so uh do what you gotta do because luck is here for you give me some more media didn't we just say somebody's voice gonna have you off in the media somebody ought to do that magazine listen then we just talk about the newspaper it's a part of your destiny to follow your dreams and your passions somebody want a retail store somebody is starting a retail store health it says okay it says, okay, the situation is going to be resolved. Whatever the problem is, your emotions. Sometimes you got to put them emotions away. And sometimes them emotions could affect your finances. You got to learn when to use your emotions. Offering. Offer somebody something. The universe will meet all your needs. Consider having a money altar. Take a risk. It's time to take risk, Aries. Give me some more energy here helper yes you are help somebody or somebody is gonna ask you for help and you gotta help somebody the office somebody work at the office or is about to have a new office trust trust that the universe is providing a way for you this is my fairly new deck i got a couple more decks on the way this is mindful messages we use the romance cards. We use the Intuit to roll. We use the original deck. Let's get some mindful messages. What will mindful message say? Nurture. It's okay to want to stay home and be alone. I deserve days to myself. Days to relax and simply be. I honor how I feel and take this day to do the things that feel nurturing to me. Get focused to attract what I want. First, I get clear on what it is I desire. I envision it for a minute or more every day, feeling how it would feel to have this in my life, what I would do, how I react, and who I tell. I picture it all through my continual alignment with my desires. They begin to flow into my physical reality in divine timing. Aries, if that don't say the exact same thing we was just sitting here saying, they say everything we just was saying. I'm going to get one more card out here for you. And this is Angel Answers. Take a moment, Aries. I'm going to take a couple seconds. Take a moment, Aries, and think of a question. And we're going to ask Angel Answers, what's your question? What's your question? What's your answer? We got angel answers out here. What's your question, Aries? What's your question? What's your questions? Think of three questions. I'm going to get three cards before I go. Ooh, I did a long message, Aries. Wow, first time. This is my introduction. I was trying to do 20, 30 minutes. It got pretty deep. Like, that was real intense. You get two, uh... Two Ace of Cups, two Ace of Hearts. I mean, two Ace of... Look for a sign. That's the first answer. Look for a sign. What's the second answer? You got two Ace of Cups. Two, everything just working in your favor. Recovery. 
Somebody going through recovery. One more. Let's do one more. The answer is yes. 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 I was thinking of a question myself. Like, is Aries going to be rich? <laughs> I was thinking of a question myself. Let me see. What is that? Success. If you believe. Okay. Aries. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing up and showing out. I plan on doing this once a week for you on today. So today will be Saturday and we're going to do it next Saturday. And let me see uh, Mars being your planet. I ask action, energy, passion, sex drive, aggression linked to the sex glands, left ear and muscular system. Rules the first house. Okay, Aries with your fire. Burn up or burn down. Listen, I love you and I will see you soon. Enjoy this beautiful day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Later.